And how easy is it to just cling to it and just not be able to quite believe God means what he says, that he's able to cleanse us from all sin. Oh, I'll tell you what, God wants to set people free. And, he, and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Praise God. Praise God. There's so many accounts in the Gospels that uh, you know, we, we know. Uh, turn to one that every Sunday school child knows in Luke 19. Luke chapter 19, and we have our friend Zacchaeus. Now, who knows what Zacchaeus' profession was? Tax collector, wasn't he? They were some of the most popular people in the whole town. The Romans would uh, hire these people, and they would go out and say, I want you to collect so much. They'd go out and collect, you know, this much, and then they'd go out and collect this much. And get rich, and everybody knew they were crooks, but they didn't, there's nothing they could do about it. And so they were just despised. They were sinners. They were absolutely despised. In fact, if you go back and look at uh, uh, one of the disciples, Matthew, Levi, that was what he was. And when Jesus called him, Jesus went and ate at his house with a whole bunch of his tax collector friends. And boy, did the religious crowd have a, have a feel they were that. This man's gone to eat with a bunch of tax collectors and sinners. What kind of a prophet is this? Well, you have sort of the same thing here. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a, not just a tax collector, he was a chief tax collector. This was the guy who went over some others, was over some others. And man, he, this was his opportunity to be wealthy and to be rich and live the high life. Just... I don't care what people think of me, I'm going to be rich. That was his attitude toward life, evidently. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he, I was going to say something about Steve, but I won't. <laughs> I, I won't say that. I appreciate Brother Steve. He's just, he's, he's, uh, he's more concentrated. He's got more of the good stuff in a smaller package, so... Praise God. We will leave out the levity here in a minute. Uh, anyway, so this is a short man. And so because of the crowd, he can't see. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up to him and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Now, let's see what everybody else thought about this. All the people saw this and began to mutter. We better watch our muttering. God help us to see through his eyes and his purposes. They began to mutter. He has gone to, the, to be the guest of us. Boy, I'll tell you what. Jesus didn't go there to partake of their sin. He went to reach out to the sinner. God give us that kind of a heart. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. This is not somebody who's going on with his life as it has been. This man has reached a turning point. He has been confronted by the Son of God. Conviction has fallen upon his soul, and he is a changed man but here he is received and loved by the Son of God in the face of the religious crowd. You see the heart of God that says, it's time for a new start. And you don't, and you don't come into my kingdom as a second class citizen. You are welcomed in. Your past is blotted out. What you have been does not, it does not weigh against your future. Your future is not determined by your past. Boy, I don't want my future determined by my past. Do you? Praise God. And so anyway, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. That's interesting. If you kind of follow that idea through, you'll find out Jesus 
John chapter 8 was talking to a whole crowd of people who thought they were children of Abraham, and they weren't. Not according to Jesus. Jesus was sent to people, to the true sons of Abraham, God's elect remnant among the people. Most of the people were not really children of Abraham in God's eyes. This man was, in spite of what he was doing, in spite of his terrible past, God saw somebody that he, was, that he could touch their hearts and they would respond to the gospel call. And so he calls him a son of Abraham. I'll tell you, there's a lot of people who are outside the house muttering who were not sons of Abraham. And it became evident in their reaction to Jesus. Oh, praise God. Have you got a past today? You want a fresh start? Yeah, I do too. I don't know. There's so many, there's so many accounts here. You could go right on through. Turn to uh, Luke 7, I think there's one. That we know very well. And this begins in verse 36. Well, actually, let's go back a little bit. I've forgotten about some of this. Uh, Jesus is talking about John the Baptist. In verse 20, it says, all the people, even the tax collectors, here you've got tax collectors again, all the people, even the tax collectors, when they heard Jesus' words, talking about John the Baptist, acknowledged that God's way was right because they had been baptized by John. There was a work of God through John to get people's hearts ready to receive Jesus when he came. But, there's a contrast, but the Pharisees and experts in the law. That's interesting. I wonder how many theologians today that spend their whole life delving into the scriptures and trying to decipher it all haven't got a clue. They're experts. They can tell you all about the Greek and the Hebrew and the Aramaic and everything about the culture and the history, and they can dissect every word and every, every phrase, and they've got it all. They're just mind, their minds are grappling with stuff. I've met people like this, and they don't have a spiritual clue. I'll tell you, I'd rather be like a child and say, Lord, I don't know. You're going to have to show me. I'm, I'm pretty simple here. I need you to, I need you to, to show me real truth. And yes, it'll be anchored in this word, but I need spiritual enlightenment if I'm to understand anything. And here's the common people able to sense and know God's presence and God's working through Jesus. And the rest of the, the religious crowd that are such experts don't have a clue. There's a lesson in that. But the Pharisees and experts in the law rejected God's purpose for themselves. Oh, God had a plan, didn't he? But they were, they were just marked themselves right outside it because they had not been baptized by John. They had rejected John and their hearts were still in the state of, of not being ready. He says, to what then will I, will I, can I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They're like children sitting in the marketplace calling out to each other, we played the flute for you and you did not dance. We sang a dirge and you did not cry. He's just saying, you're, you know, it's one, one child calling to another, wanting everybody to be in step. Wanting everybody to conform. Wanting everybody to be like them. And, not, and, and, nobody's, and nobody is, has, has an idea what's going on. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say, he is a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you say, here's a glutton and a drunk. A friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her children. I tell you, you wonder at the reaction of some people. It doesn't matter what you do. It's wrong if their hearts are wrong. You've got a set of eyes that cannot see things as they are. I pray that God will remove the blinders from hearts and open people to see, in spite of our weakness, in spite of everything, to see the work, the love of God reaching out through his word, through the good news of the gospel. Reaching out with a message of hope and love and forgiveness. And so he goes right into this account. 